Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a green smoothie. It's highly nutritious, so it's going to help you fight depression and other mental health conditions. But even more importantly, it alkalizes your bloodstream. Now, if you want to find out more about why it's important to have your blood at the right alkalinity and why people like myself, we never get sick, ever, then you need to watch uh, my video. I think it's titled, Why I Never Get Sick. The important thing to remember here is there's no specific ingredients you have to put in. It's just basically got to be green if possible. Green is chlorophyll. It's energy from the sun. It's what us as human beings thrive on. If you like my uh, luck of the Irish shirt, by the way, it's green, huh? So I'm just, just, if you're not sure what foods create acid in your blood, which you don't want, acid equals illness. Um, you want foods that create alkalinity, right? Alkalizing foods. You need to just Google it and get yourself a list off the internet. Then you can pin it to the fridge and work on that. So there's no particular order. There's no portion size. Just, just use your common sense. Enough said. So I found some celery in the fridge. It was starting to, you know, turn. So before it gets thrown away, in it goes. Some ginger, good for the blood. This is the stalk, oh, the stalk of broccoli. Most people throw it away, which is ridiculous because it, it tastes more delicious than carrot, but you don't need to waste it anyway. Found uh, the last bit of a cucumber, highly alkalizing. Bit of actual broccoli floret. Now, fruit. You see people making smoothies and it's like pineapple and mango. That is no good for you folks. Sugar, highly acidic in the bloodstream. Would you like send your kid to the sugar bowl and tell them to take 30 spoons of that? You, you wouldn't, right? So why would you get them to eat, you know, like a mango or something which has got even even more sugar in. So don't put that in your smoothies. What you can do is the stuff that has less sugar, like pear, for example, that will give the vegetables a bit of a nicer flavor. And a bit of apple. Again, not too much because there's, so, there's a lot more sugar in this than, than you think. But as long as you keep the balance right, it will still be alkalizing. And the the good thing about that is you can chuck in the apple core. It's not going to hurt. Found some uh, red cabbage that we haven't used. That can go in. And it's really important, obviously, to have some green leaf, hence the chlorophyll. You can actually use a majority of a green leaf like kale or broccoli for your whole smoothie you know you don't have to worry so much about these other ingredients the top tip is avocado will take away that vegetable-y that kind of cabbagey taste and it will make it creamier and taste smoother right so chuck that in Then some lemon. Lemon and lime are the only fruits that alkalize your blood. Now, really, really uh, good shortcut here, and that is super greens. Each spoon of this powder is the equivalent of eight portions of greens in your meal. And I'll put as much of this in as I can get in, in the container normally. So sometimes like four or five scoops. Some water.
Hold your ears. There we go, one green smoothie.